you doing on YouTube? So uh, I'm going to start a, a small series because it's been a while since I've posted anything um, that deal with information that you don't really get in law school. So it's things that you don't get taught in law school or things they didn't teach you in law school. Um, and one of the first ones would be good not just for law students or new attorneys in criminal defense, but it's also something good for anybody that's a criminal defendant. So if you're a defendant, you have an attorney, um, this is something that you might want to think about, and it's called a trial tax or litigation tax. Um, unfortunately, I've experienced it as, a, as an attorney for my client, and I've seen it firsthand for some friends of mine that do defense work too on how uh, this can uh, definitely be an issue you need to consider. Um, so uh, I will premise it, of course, by saying this. Every jurisdiction is different. You know, if you uh, are, are in trouble and, you know, need some representation, you need to find a competent and licensed attorney in your jurisdiction. Uh, I am licensed in Tennessee, and the information that I give is not meant to be legal advice. It's just, uh, you know, for information only. So, you know, if you, if you need an attorney, you need to get an attorney. And you can always call our office at the numbers uh, below, and uh, we can direct you to somebody if you're in our area, or, or you're welcome to, of course, hire us. Uh, but anyway, so here's what it is. So this won't be long. So here's what a trial tax is. Let's say you're a criminal defendant and you're accused of whatever. You go to your attorney, and the way it normally works is the attorney will get discovery, which is just evidence against you that the state has. The attorney should review the evidence, and then they can, and also the law and the, the, the statutes you're charged with, and then they can make a decision on whether or not the uh, potential offer, sometimes there are not offers from the state, from the, the district attorney, um, is you know, fair or in your best interest. You know, if the evidence is overwhelming, sometimes it's better to try to take some type of plea offer, plea it in court versus going to trial over it. Um, you know, but then sometimes the state messes up, sometimes, or there's not enough evidence, or they've gotten the evidence illegally. There's different ways that you would, uh, you know, review the evidence to make a decision on whether or not you should plea or go to trial. And of course, that's for you to discuss with your attorney. However, what I found is a lot of times, especially if there's a lot of evidence against you and you have a limited opportunity to win at trial, but maybe the offer wasn't that good, so it's kind of one way or the other. They may give you what they, they'll say minimums across range. You know, that means if it's like a felony with a, a sentencing range of three to six years or something like that, um, the minimum would be three years. Now, it might be three years at like, you know, 30% or 35%, depending on the standard, the, the level of offender the defendant is. But anyway, you know, you're looking at the minimums versus if you go to trial and you're convicted, you could be sentenced to longer than that. Well, um, in some cases, especially when the judges do the sentencing, um, you get you can get what's called a trial tax. Now, this is not a official term. This is not something you can even Google necessarily and figure out what it is. It's not a government tax, anything like that. It's uh, a term um, of art that is used by lawyers to describe uh, something that sometimes happens in the course of litigation. And what it is is judges don't want to waste their time. They don't want to the, waste the court's time. They don't want to waste the jury's time. Um, they don't want to waste the DA's time having to prosecute the case. So if you as the defendant and your attorney decide to not take a good plea offer or um, you know avoid trial – and you're going to go through the trial process, which is lengthy and takes a lot of time and money from, from everyone. And then at the conclusion, you're still found guilty because the evidence was clearly overwhelming against you. A lot of times, uh, some judges will give you what we defense attorneys call a trial tax or litigation tax. And what that is, is instead of maybe giving you the minimums, you get a lot more on the sentence at the end. So it's, it's sort of like heavy sentencing is the tax. Um, and it's sort of a penalty if you decided to take something to trial, you know, that probably should have been handled in the preliminary stages of um, litigation, either through plea or, or whatever else. Um, so anyway, that, that that's pretty much sums it up. Uh, that's sort of a brief explanation of a factor that, you know, attorneys need to be aware of. You can avoid it some by knowing the judges, knowing how judges usually rule. Some judges, you know, are, are heavy on sentencing, some are light. Um, it just, just depends on the specific judge and that goes down to having a good attorney that's, you know, experienced in the area and knows kind of what the judges are going to do. Um, anyway, so I hope this video gave you some information you may not have had. It's not something that the general public thinks about. It's more of a, a lawyer nuanced area of practicing law that I just thought was interesting. I think it, it does need to be considered, you know, because if your lawyer is kind of prompting you to, Hey, probably need to take this deal. Uh, you, you, you sometimes need to consider that advice, despite what you may think. 
um, you know, about your options at trial, uh, just because, you know, it, it can get worse on the sentencing end. You know, three to six years, if you're sentenced to six years at 30%, that's significantly more time than three years at 30%. Um, and then even sometimes probation options, um, if you, you, you have an attorney that can negotiate a plea like that. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. If you liked it, please like the video. Um, of course, I'd like to get some subscribers, more subscribers on here um, so you can stay updated if I post anything. I know they're just sort of random informational videos, so feel free to comment below if you would like a video on a specific area of the law. I'd be happy to do that. Our practice, uh, pretty much we do any kind of uh, trial work uh, from criminal to family law to um, uh, civil litigation. We do just about anything. Uh, there's a couple areas of law we don't practice, but we can refer you to people that we know uh, should you need something like that. So feel free to contact us at the, the number below or visit our website. And uh, anyway, see you guys next time. Thanks.